Welcome back ladies and gents on today's show. An F-150 to fight the Ram TRX. An Audi gets caddy, and you'll never believe what's under the skin of this retro mod. I'm Tiffany Stone, and this is Haggerty's Daily Driver. Let's buckle up. America's best-selling vehicle was redesigned earlier this year to be tougher, more comfortable, and offer improved utility. It's got a 12-inch touchscreen fold flat front seats, and a shifter that stows away so that you can have what amounts to an in-vehicle desk. What am I talking about? Well, I'm talking about the Ford F-150, of course. But while the 2021 model offers some real-world productivity tools, its power band didn't change. We do get a hybrid and future electric version, which are a sign of the times. But what about the Raptor? Well, Ford sent us this. Ram, however, did not. Ram sent us a Hemi-powered 1500 called TRX. And no, we will never get tired of the 702 horsepower Hellcat truck. Let's check in on Ford again. So just as any enterprising American would do, Hennessy Performance took it upon itself to give us a TRX Challenger that Ford, as of now, won't. Behold, the Hennessy Venom 800. Hennessy is no stranger to high-performance variants of Ford products. And sometimes they push boundaries of sanity a bit far, like this Velociraptor 6x6. The Venom 800, however, sticks to four wheels and tires and is based on a F-150 Platinum Edition Super Crew. Hennessy added a 3-liter supercharger system to the stock truck's 5-liter V8, doubling performance to 805 horsepower and 727 pound-feet of torque. And if you're in a hurry to get to Home Depot, 0 to 60 takes just 3.6 seconds. The TRX takes the pedestrian 4.5. <sighs> More than just an upgraded power boost, the Venom 800 includes an off-road package that adds a 6-inch lift and a retuned suspension and shocks. Now the brakes are updated to a Brembo system while the 20-inch custom wheels are paired with 35-inch all-terrain tires. Want one? Well, it's going to cost you about 150 grand. But don't worry, that does include the $63,000 truck. You can place your order with Hennessy or through an authorized Ford dealer, but you need to act quickly because only 100 will be made. Now, you want something that's just as fast but even more exclusive? Uh, can we interest you in the Audi R8 Panther Edition? The rear-wheel drive R8 is coming to America, and to celebrate, the first ones to arrive will be 30 Panther Edition Coupes. The engine will be the standard 532 horsepower V10, paired with a 7-speed dual-clutch transmission. 0 to 60 is 3.6 seconds, and its top speed is 201 miles per hour. Exclusive features include Panther Black Crystal Paint, Carbon Fiber Trim, and a 20-inch wheel design finished in matte black with red accents. A sport exhaust system further enhances the roar of that 5.2-liter V10. More black and red flood the Napa leather and Alcantara trim cabin, from the racing seats and steering wheel and all the way down to the floor mats. Now, this isn't the first Audi Panther, by the way. The 2019 RS5 received similar styling and was limited to just 100 units. Pricing for the R8 Panther starts just north of $183,000 and it arrives in dealerships this month. So, happy holidays everyone. Now for a custom car that's neither fast nor futuristic, but sure does make up for it in the fuzzy cute fun department. Let me introduce you to the Mitsuoka Buddy. Mitsuoka Motor has been building uniquely styled vehicles since 1968, including retro mods resembling American, European, and British cars. The Buddy, however, which could pass off as an alternate Blazer Bronco reality from the 60s, is actually based on the Toyota RAV4. Don't see it? Well, that doesn't matter. This thing sold out in four days. Priced at around $45,000, the 200 models Mitsuoka plans to build is equivalent to a two-year production cycle. Now, Mitsuoka has always been the king of like quirky vehicles, kind of like this Toyota Corolla converted into this kind of Bentley-ish thing, or the Vue, which is a Jaguar Nissan something. But this Miata-based Corvette named Rockstar? No, that isn't so bad. But now we have the Buddy, so let us know if you managed to snag one and question can we be friends? Because it's pretty cool. 
It's time for Throwback Thursday, where we talk about something cool from the past that you probably haven't thought about in a while. This week marks 35 years since the inception of McLaren Automotive. And here's a look at what we think are five iconic models. Naturally, we start with the McLaren F1, the vehicle that many consider to be the greatest sports car ever made. What can't be argued is that its recorded speed of 240 miles per hour makes it the fastest naturally aspirated production car in the world, and that's achieved without any of the driver assistance help you know, that modern cars are equipped with. The Mercedes-Benz SLR McLaren doesn't command the attention, or the $20 million resale value of the F1, but it's no slouch. It too can travel in excess of 200 miles per hour, and look, butterfly doors. The last ones produced were 2009 Sterling Moss editions and only 75 were built. When the MP412C entered the scene in 2011, it was the first to feature a monocell carbon fiber tub that continues to be the foundation for every new McLaren today. In the 90s, production of that monocoque piece would take 4,000 hours. The time has been since shortened to just four. 2012 brought us the P1. Its twin turbo V8 and electric motor combined for 903 horsepower and 0 to 62 miles per hour was achieved in 2.8 seconds. The P1's top speed is a limited 217 miles per hour. A more recent icon is the 720S. Modernized engineering has made it close to the P1 in performance, but at a fraction of the price and production time. It gets to 60 miles per hour in less than three seconds and generates 50% more downforce than the 650S it replaced. McLaren's next generation of cars will no doubt be electrified, starting with the Artura Hybrid we reported on earlier this week. But with McLaren, we wouldn't mind if its history of progress and innovation repeated itself. You can read more about McLaren's 35 years at haggerty.com media. Well, that's it for me today. We'll see you next week for more of the top automotive news stories. Until then, stay safe and keep driving.